and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another what I ate in a day video. So today's video I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating and also I wanna focus a little bit on weight loss friendly meals and kind of give you a few tips on how I lost weight and how I kept it off as well. But before we jump into that, I just wanna let you know that I am having a 20% off Black Friday sale on my website. So if you guys don't know, I have three different eBooks that I sell on my website and also bundles on the website as well. So I have like little eBook bundles. So if you wanna get like all three of them, that's the ultimate bundle and then I have a couple other bundles as well. So everything off the website is 20% off and the bundles are already discounted, so you're getting a double discount, okay? So highly recommend the Ultimate Bundle. I think that one is the best discount and then you get 20% off on top of that. So the Black Friday sale is on until end of Sunday, so all the info will be down below as well as the coupon code. Make sure you check it out and grab yourself one of my eBooks, if not all of them, okay? Okay. So before we jump in to my what I ate in a day, a few disclaimers. Number one, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not here to give you any professional health or weight loss advice. I'm just somebody through lots of trial and error have lost some weight, has lost some weight in the recent years, if you will. During COVID, basically, I lost like 10 pounds and then I think it's been a year now since I've kind of like kept it off, okay? In the summer, I did gain a little bit back because it's summer, I'm having a good time, whatever. Now I've lost it again, so yeah. I think I did it in a very healthy, sustainable way. Sustainable since I've you know, kept it off for a year and I didn't deprive myself. I didn't not allow myself to enjoy life. I still enjoyed life. I still traveled. I still you know, ate everything I wanted to eat. If you guys wanna know like kind of how I did it, I'll link my video. I think I have a, I think I have one video or two videos on this topic. So I'll link those down below if you guys want more information as to how I lost the weight, if you will. So today would be like an example of, you know, meals that support my weight loss, weight maintenance journey, if you will. Anyways, um, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but um, if you wanna know the story, you can click down below the video about my weight loss. Here we go, let's, let's just jump in. What I ate in a day, weight loss friendly edition. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, rise and shine, my friends, rise and shine. I like to start the day off with coffee, of course. I usually have espresso, but on this day, I decided to switch things up because why not? I had some filtered coffee this time because actually my friends got me that lovely uh, coffee maker, which allows me to make both espresso and some filtered coffee, which is very lovely. Is it called filtered coffee? What am I saying? Filtered coffee? You know what I mean, like drip coffee. Anyways, I drink my coffee while I do some work, and then when I get hungry, I will make breakfast. Did you enjoy that ASMR action? Anyways, I'm also going to be cutting up an orange. I have a bunch of oranges in my fridge all the time and I just like don't eat them a lot. I don't know why they're so good for you. They are healthy, they are delicious and I do enjoy them when I make them, when I make them, when I actually eat them. But I don't know, I just don't find myself eating them enough. But when I'm trying to eat healthier, I try to like really remember to eat my fruit more and oranges are definitely, you know, my, my, go-to kind of healthy fruit. I don't know, all fruit is healthy, right? Anyways, also going to eat some tomatoes as well. Some of these tomatoes. So this is my giant breakfast. We have minestrone soup, recipe coming soon. It is delicious. And we also have my orange. We have half an English muffin with hummus and of course tomatoes. So as you can see, it is uh, giant, but it's all really like healthy, lower calorie foods that are still gonna fill me up. And of course I have some protein in the soup as well, which is gonna help me feel fuller longer. So that's the secret, okay? And then of course take your vitamins, very important. And we're gonna jump straight into lunch. 
So for lunch, I decided to do a Korean barbecue mukbang. If you guys like mukbang videos, don't forget to subscribe and join me on Mondays for Munching Mondays, which is my mukbang series. Mukbang is an eating show for those of you that don't know. So we just eat and we kind of chat anyways. So on this day, I was filming a mukbang video. So I was like, you know what? I want to do a Korean barbecue mukbang because I haven't done one of those in a long time. And a lot of people think Korean barbecue is only for meat, meat. but it's not. Okay. You can make a vegan Korean barbecue, which is really healthy. And it is definitely one of my absolute favorite ways of getting in tons of vegetables. Okay. Seriously, I don't think there is any other way for me to eat so many vegetables and still really heavily enjoy myself so let me show you okay so right now i'm just preparing some oyster mushrooms this is definitely a really delicious thing to add into korean barbecue this is going to be one of my barbecuing items my grilling items because oyster mushrooms if you guys haven't tried them they have a very meaty texture so i actually really enjoy it in a korean barbecue but oyster mushrooms are not going to be that filling my friends it's very low calorie uh, but it's not really like super high in protein or anything so that's why i like to add in always some sort of higher protein option and of course, one of my favorite high protein options would be tofu. And one of my favorite types of tofu would be smoked tofu. And I'm finally seeing them at the store again nowadays on a more regular basis, which is kind of weird, but also thank you. So I'm just slicing up the smoked tofu into very thin slices so I can put it on the grill and that's gonna be our protein. And the reason why I care about protein guys is because protein makes you, not only makes you muscular, just kidding, okay? that You have to actually like lift weights and stuff, but it helps you build muscle, but also it really helps you feel more full. If I have a meal with no protein, or not, when I say no protein, I mean low protein, okay? When I have a low protein meal, I get hungry like in an hour. So that's why it matters to me. And now I'm making a very simple sauce. This is a dipping sauce. All you do is mix together toasted sesame oil and some salt, and then you use that to dip your tofu and your oyster mushrooms, and it's so, so good. And then we have another type of Korean sauce slash paste, which is called samjang. This is basically what you use to enjoy your Korean lettuce wraps. You can also dip vegetables in there. It is so good. You can buy this in the store or you can make your own. And I have a recipe for this on my channel already, which I'll link down below. But yeah, all you have to do is just add a tiny little bit of that into your lettuce wraps or dip your veggies like cucumber or whatever into that and it tastes so good. Okay, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like salty and a little bit spicy and really delicious. Anyways, I'm also gonna heat up, of course, some rice. I gotta have rice, okay? Rice is absolutely the best. So I'm just heating that up. And then, as you can see, I have tons of veggies there. I have some Korean green peppers, which I don't know how to describe it. I don't know if it's different from other peppers, but it is so good. I dip the green peppers in the samjang. And then, of course, I have literally an entire head of lettuce to make my lettuce wraps. So if you guys want to see how I enjoy this, you can check out my mukbang video, which it's either out already or it's coming out later i don't know i'll link it down below so you can see like how i enjoy it and then later on after i had that i literally ate that whole thing by the way i ate all of that lettuce i ate an entire head of lettuce anyways i'm also having some grapes these are korean grapes <laughs> again i don't know what these the official name of these grapes are but basically you don't eat the skin you just kind of squeeze the goodness out it's extra juicy extra sweet these are my favorite grapes ever these are better than any other grapes do not try to debate me all right guys so i was gonna go to the gym right about now but it is i don't know if you guys can see but it is like really gloomy and disgusting outside truth be told i don't want to leave the house but i do have to leave the house eventually in the next like you know hour and a half because i have to go record the podcast at daniel's place so i still have to leave the house and like be outside but for some reason i just don't want to be outside just yet so instead of going to the gym i think i'm just gonna do a home workout it's been so long since i've done a home workout so wish me luck yeah i'm just gonna put on some kind of workout on youtube i think that's the plan yeah wish i didn't have to leave the house today wish i could just stay home and just curl up in bed also i did go for a walk today earlier i didn't show you guys but I did go for a walk because I had to go and run some errands. So I walked quite a lot, probably for at least an hour or so. So there's that. See, there's my way of like getting in some, you know, movement. And I'm gonna do an actual, you know, workout, but the walk counts as exercise. Yes, I'm gonna do a workout and I'll see you guys for dinner.
All right, friends, let's make dinner. I was kind of craving like a grilled cheese sort of thing, something simple, something easy. So I'm making a healthier grilled cheese, I guess. I just have this like healthy bread. <laughs> I like healthy bread. You know what? I prefer healthy bread. You know, I just feel like there's more chew, there's more depth, and um, you just feel like you're actually eating something. I feel like white bread. I'm just like, did I eat something? Was I like, did I even chew? Anyways, I'm having this with a little bit of butter, and I'm just gonna stick it in the air fryer, possibly because I'm lazy. Not just because I'm like, you know, trying to be healthy, but like literally my air fryer is at a very um, convenient spot on my counter at this moment. So it's very easy. I use it all the time. Anyways, I'm also going to make a salad. I'm going to make a bok choy Caesar, but slightly healthier. Again, if you guys have not tried out my bok choy Caesar recipe, oh my God, stop everything. Try it. Yes, I use fresh bok choy and oh, fresh bok choy in a Caesar salad. I'm telling you, it is it is life-changing, okay? It's one of my favorite salads. I'm just gonna put a bunch of bok choy, uh, baby bok choy I'm using, into a big salad mixing bowl thingy. And I also had like half a bell pepper left over, so I'm just gonna chop that up as well. And basically, you guys, the way that I eat is I do not uh, restrict anything other than obviously not eating animal products, but that's for ethical reasons. I basically allow myself to eat whatever I want. So if I really wanted like a really fatty grilled cheese, I'll eat that. But I really don't mind like healthier versions of certain things as well. And I do let myself obviously eat like, you know, pizzas and burgers and go out for drinks and all that stuff. But it's all about what's the magic word, guys? Balance. Okay, it's all about balance. So just don't like, you know, eat like unhealthy food all the time. You're also gonna feel like crap. I just let myself eat whatever as long as it's vegan. Um, but most of the time I eat healthy and I try to enjoy every single meal. Those are kind of the really important things. Anyways, I just made a really good style of dressing and that's gonna be a really healthy, kind of more of a creamy style dressing, but it's really tangy. This has been my favorite dressing recently. It's basically a slightly healthier, slightly more lazy actually version of my, uh, um, vegan Caesar dressing recipe, which again, I'll link that down below. That one's really, really good too. So obviously try that one too. I just added some assimilated bacon bits, which are vegan by the way. So there's my like healthier kind of hummus, uh, Caesar salad, Caesar bok choy, bok choy, Caesar hummus. I don't know. I also added some tomatoes if you guys didn't catch that. And of course I have to add a protein source and today it's, I guess it's smoked tofu day. <laughs> I wanted to actually add edamame beans, but I didn't have any. So I decided to just add in some smoked tofu. And the great thing about smoked tofu is that you don't have to cook it. Like you can just eat it and it's delicious as is. It kind of reminds me of like a ham, but obviously a lot healthier and no animals were harmed, which is fantastic. And last thing I want to mention, which is so important in my opinion, is I really try to genuinely enjoy all of my meals. Like everything I eat, I try to make sure that it's something that I really like. It's something that I find delicious and satisfying and something that, you know, keeps me full. So I really try to pay attention to that and make sure I'm eating things that I enjoy genuinely. I think that's really important because a lot of people, when they're trying to lose weight or be healthy, they try to just eat things that they think are healthy without actually asking themselves if they enjoy that. That meal and ultimately a lot of people end up hating what they're doing and just going back to eating unhealthy foods or whatever they're used to because they think healthy food is boring so highly recommend actually trying to find foods that you genuinely enjoy so that you can do this for a lifetime not just for like three weeks Anyway, I could really go on and on about this, but again, I'll link my weight loss video down below if you guys are interested in what I did to lose weight. And if you guys want more content like this, let me know and I will try to do more videos like this because this is something I'm pretty passionate about actually. So let me know if you want me to do more content similar to this one. All right, guys, so that is it for my what I ate in a day, weight loss edition or weight maintenance edition, healthy weight edition, lower calorie, high volume food edition. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found some of the tips helpful. If you did, let me know down below and also give me a big thumbs up, of course. And don't forget, you guys, my Black Friday sale is on until Sunday. You get 20% off my website, okay? My eBooks, my bundles, 20% off. I've got my Cheap Lazy Vegan Recipes eBooks, super easy, beginner-friendly recipes that are delicious. I have my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook focusing on Asian vegan recipes. And then I have a how to go vegan guide, which is again, like really beginner friendly. Anyone that's interested in veganism, there's more beginner recipes in there. There's tips on going vegan and all kinds of stuff. And you get everything for 20% off. So all of that info will be down below. So don't miss out on that sale. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.